we back in the Low Key Cave, Keyshawn Nimes YouTube page, aka Mr. Low Key, and we back with another trailer reaction. This time, as you know, we are already getting a little closer to Halloween, and this was actually surprising. Um, not the trailer, but the news that we was getting another Pet Cemetery because I hadn't even paid any mind that they, they was working on another Pet Cemetery. I know they had recently did that reboot, and it wasn't necessarily a bad movie, but it definitely wasn't as good as the original, which a lot of the reboots are not as good as the original, but some have been able to, I would say, surpass the original. I would say probably The Hills Have Eyes are one of those reboots that's, in my opinion, surpassed the original movie. But um, with all that being said, I am a fan of the original Stephen King Pet Cemetery. you know, the 80s. The little boy, man, hey, <laughs> that shit is always going to be creepy. But uh, this is going to be interesting because as far as I know, I think this film is going to take place somewhat of like an origin or a prequel story. Somewhat, I guess, of telling how Pet Cemetery came about and where Pet Cemetery came from, pretty much. So I think that's kind of interesting or whatever. So let's go ahead and jump into this, man. Like I said, I'm a fan of Pet Cemetery. I even like Pet Cemetery 2 with your boy Edward Furlong from, you know, uh, Terminator 2. But uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. Pet Cemetery. Bloodlines official trailer, and if I'm not mistaken, this won't be coming to theaters. This becomes straight to streaming as far as uh, Paramount Plus. I could be wrong, but let's go ahead and check this out. Where do you think we should go? Wherever. Let's just enjoy every second of getting the heck out of Ludlow. Oh. What the? F they hit a bird. That was bad. Got right back up and just went on. Oh, they said we ain't doing no cats this time. We doing dogs. First place I learned about cats <laughs> was a pet cemetery. The secret place. Generation to generation, dead things buried in that land. But come back. There's something else. Can you hear them? Voices. I think something's wrong with Timmy. He needs time to adjust. Well, Timmy the people built the pet cemetery <laughs> to protect Timmy them from dead. evil. That's not Timmy. Something's talking through him. What have you done? We have to find Tim. Now stop this. I held him the day he came into this world. And I'm gonna hold him the day he goes out. Sometimes dead is better. Oh shit, that damn truck. Bro, that truck. That hey. That truck from the original movie alone is like better. absolutely terrifying. Like nobody wanna Sometimes. go through the, the situation of your child running into No, bro, who good on this? Dead is better. Trucks driving so fast, and as you can see, well, this is supposed to be a prequel or whatever, so no trucks been driving that fast for a long time. <laughs> but um, outside of that, as far as this movie go, uh, I don't know yet, man. I don't know honestly, because like I said, that reboot wasn't necessarily bad, but it wasn't like good either. And um, outside of the original, and like I said, part two is a guilty pleasure. It's definitely, I wouldn't say like a good horror movie. But I mean, I mean, give or take. I mean, for what it was at the time, I th I would say yeah, definitely, man. I mean, you go back and check out Pet Cemetery too, and y'all let me know. And definitely, I'll probably be working on doing like a retro review of that. But I'll definitely be doing a retro review of the original '80s Pet Cemetery. As far as this one go, though, uh, I mean, given the timeline, because you could tell they are, I'm guessing '60s, '70s. Y'all gonna let me know, but it may be late '60s going into the '70s. Uh, shout out to your boy X Files. He in here. 
we look like we're going to be focusing basically on this guy or this boy named Timmy who obviously has died and they done buried him in Pet Cemetery and he done came back. So looking like the story going to center around that and we definitely look like we're going to be getting uh, a backstory to the origins of the Pet Cemetery. So that's definitely going to be um, interesting being that this is supposedly wasn't it buried on Indian burial grounds or whatever. I'm, like I said, I have to go back and watch the movie, original movie because I know they talked about it or whatever. But like I said, I'm going to have to give it a chance to see what's going on, being that it's going to be streaming. I mean, hey, we're going to see what's up, man. But y'all let me know. If y'all are fans of Pet Cemetery and the original films, the first two or just the first one, let me know how y'all feel about this one. Have you checked out the reboot that they did, I think, 2019? Outside of that, if, let me know if you plan on checking this one out. Make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Let you know when I upload new videos. Other than that, we out.